Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So, in this lesson, we're going to begin to actually create the functions that's going to deal with the opponent hit functions. Now, we are going to create two separate scripts, but for now, we just need to come back to the opponent AI and this line here where we define the naming convention for the opponent AI state we're going to change that from private to public static and we're also going to change the enum to public as well so let's save that off and we'll come to the scripts folder we'll create a new c sharp script and let's call this opponent head hit and we'll open this for editing and I'm just going to come below here, below the void update. And we're going to use void on trigger enter. Here in the collider, other, let's change other to underscore opponent head hit. And then we'll come inside the brackets below. And we're going to say if open and close brackets. Inside those brackets we're going to say underscore opponent head hit dot tag double equals open and close brackets again. Inside those brackets we want a couple of little speech marks. We're going to say head hit. We'll come to the line below. We're going to say head struck. Open and close brackets. Close that line off. Now we need to come below here and create another void with that naming convention of head struck just to get rid of the error into the comments if um, let's say game object with tag of head hit enters collider then call head stroke function and we'll come inside that function now we want opponent AI dot underscore opponent AI state and that's going to be equal to opponent AI dot opponent AI state dot hit head let's close that line off into the comments set opponent ai state to opponent hit head just save that for now we'll downsize that script we'll create a new C sharp script opponent and body hit so let's just open that script now Sure, you can imagine we can just copy the code we've just put in head hit. We'll just paste that in. 
let's change this naming convention to body hit. We'll also need to change it here. We'll change the tag we are looking for. Remembering to change the comment as well. We'll change that naming convention to body stroke. We'll change it here as well in this void. And we'll also change what we are swapping the AI state to. So let's just save that off. We can actually close those two scripts for now. Let's come back to the opponent AI. And I'll put it here. We're going to create some more variables of type private, audio source, underscore opponent AI, audio source. Close that line off into the comments. Defines naming convention for opponents AI audio source will come below now these can be of type public in fact they need to be of type public so public audio clip underscore opponent head hit audio Close the line off into the comments, creates slot in inspector to assign opponent head hit audio. Let's just copy and paste that line in. And we'll obviously change that to opponent body hit. And we'll change it in the comments as well. I'm also going to come here. We're going to say public. Game object with capital G. Underscore hit. Sparks. Close the line off into the comments again create slot in inspector to assign hit sparks prefab and if you're i'm using sparks because i'm using robot actual models so if you're using you know human models you may want to hit blood or whatever you wish your blood sweat i'm using sparks and now let's come to the void start opponent ai audio source equals get component open and close bracket inside those brackets audio source come to the end of the line open and close brackets again close the line off in the comments opponent ai audio source equals audio source And let's scroll down to opponent hit body and hit head. So just below the animation line. So let's put opponent AI audio source dot play one shot. 
open and close brackets, close the line off, inside those brackets, underscore, and we want body hit audio, into the comments, play body hit audio clip, we can actually just copy that line, We'll come to opponent head hit. Obviously, we'll change what audio source we are playing. Change it in the comments there. And let's come below, actually. We can get this in place in this lesson. Game object, capital G, underscore, hit, Spark. So I'm just going to use HS underscore HS equals instantiate open and close brackets close the line off inside the brackets the name of the prefab underscore hit sparks comma we're going to say a new vector three will open and close brackets now I'm just going to put three zeros in for now with obviously a comma in between now we are going to change these values to point of contact but I think we'll do that in a later lesson let's just get the actual prefabs instantiating so between the close brackets we're going to say comma Quaternion dot identity. Then we're going to come here past the last closed bracket, but before we close the line off, we're going to say as game object and again with a capital G. Let's just break this up for commenting. So I'll enter here and here. Let's put this into the comments. Game object underscore HS equals instantiate hit sparks prefab at this position. With this rotation, that's what Quaternion Identity deals with. And as game object. In fact, it should be as a game object. So let's change that. And we can just copy all of that into the other function in my case the body hit so let's just paste that in no need to change anything this time i think i'll use the same prefab but obviously you do not have to if you want to create different prefabs and we'll save it off there so that's the basic code in place in the next lesson We'll actually deal with setting all this up. So, I think we'll leave it here for this video. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.